Dr. Paya in the house! Alright, thanks for watching and today I'll do something really cool. I actually find an antiderivative of e to the negative x squared. Ooh, you might like, I am, you're doing the impossible. Yes, I am, because I am, I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Sam, I am, with maple jam. I don't know how that goes. Anyway, and then, <laughs> but yes, no, I will, I will not find an actual antiderivative, but I will find one using power series. And that's actually perfectly fine because apparently that's how Newton did it. So before, you know, Newton invented calculus, he used power series. And also, um, that's sort of how you calculators calculate the integral of e of negative x squared. Have you ever wondered if you do it numerically, how to get it? Well, usually if you plug it into a calculator, it just replaces e of negative x squared with some power series. So this is actually really cool. And I can show my cool power series with this hoodie <laughs> that black pen red pen gave me. So how do you do this? Well, you have e to the something. So you should use the power series of e to the x, which is the sum from zero to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. Now, the important thing is, this works for every x. The radius of convergence is infinity. In particular, you can literally just plug in negative x squared for that. So e of negative x squared, its sum from n from 0 to infinity of negative x squared to the n over n factorial. And that gives you a sum from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n, x to the 2n over n factorial, which becomes, if you're on 1 minus x squared plus x to the 4th over 2 factorial minus x to the 6th over 6 factorial, etc., etc. Now, all you need to do, just integrate that. So integrate e of negative x squared dx. And the cool thing is, you can literally integrate a power series term by term, and the radius of convergence is the same. So this becomes sum from n from 0 to infinity of the integral of that, minus n x to the 2n over n factorial dx. And this just becomes the sum from 0 to infinity of minus 1 to the n, x to the 2n plus 1, over 2n plus 1 n factorial plus a constant. So what I'm doing, I'm just integrating this term by term. So it should be you know, x minus x cubed over 3 plus x to the fifth over 5, 2 factorial minus x to the seventh over 7, 6 factorial plus blah blah blah. This is what this sum means. It means, you know, x minus, because it alternates, odd powers, so x cubed over 3, so x to the 2n over 2n plus 1, and we still have those factorials. And in particular, to evaluate, you know, the integral from 0 to 1 of e of negative x squared dx, you can just use this antiderivative x minus x cubed over 3 plus x to the fifth over 5 times 2 factorial dot 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 from 0 to 1 and at 0 everything is 0 so it's 1 minus 1 third plus 1 fifth times 2 factorial dot 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 and the more terms you use the better approximation you get for for that integral so if you want something like from uh, you know, 10 decimal places accuracy, just take 100 terms of something, you know. <laughs> the calculator can just display the first 10 decimals, so it doesn't matter if they get the same answer as long as it's correct to the first decimal places. Yep. So I think it's really cool, and if you like that and want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Yay! Woohoo!